A big update coming in as India is eyeing a moon landing, a soft landing that's expected on the 23rd. Another big update coming in. In fact, ISRO has also tweeted about the same, uh, saying the orbiter of Chandrayaan 2 has formally welcomed Chandrayaan 3. This is the big update coming in. Vikram has met the Chandrayaan 3 orbiter. The two-way communication between the two is established. That's the update that has come in from ISRO that has taken to Twitter to give the update regarding the same. And it has come up with a very interesting caption as well, saying, Welcome, buddy, as Chandrayaan-2 orbiter formally welcomed the Chandrayaan-3 uh, lander module. Let's go across to my colleague Madhav Das Gopalakrishnan on the broadcast with us. Madhav, every update being watched very closely. And this, of course, is a very, very special welcome that Chandrayaan-2 orbiter has extended to the Chandrayaan-3 uh, lander module. Well, just 48 hours to go and the excitement is building up. Billions of Indians and, of course, citizens across the world are very closely watching what's happening in the lunar orbit and as we speak there's the latest tweet coming in from ISRO the Chandrayaan 3 mission says welcome buddy the Ch Channel 2 Orb Chandrayaan 2 orbiter formally welcoming Chandrayaan 3's lander and in fact the two-way communication between the two is established MOX so the mission to the moon has now got more routes to reach the uh, the lander and in fact to update the live telecast of the landing event begins at 520 or 1720 hours IST and this is as far as Wednesday is concerned but why is this important? This is actually very significant from a technical perspective because we must understand that the landing module, how it com uh, communicates with uh, you know the ISTRAC center in Pina on the outskirts of Bangalore is through the actual orbiter. Now, when the Chandrayaan 2-3 orbiter from which the lander has detached, apart from that, it has another communication channel, which is Chandrayaan 2. So, very, very significant from the perspective of actual communications because we all know there are multiple uh, things from weather to line of sight that can actually impact on how that communication actually goes forth and in fact the fact that they have a second backup line of communication makes that communication process that much more significant. Uh, remember that uh, it is in fact uh, uh, shortly at the time that uh, the actual landing process was taking place that suddenly they completely lost contact and that was what happened at the time with Chandrayaan 2 to avoid uh, perhaps any kind of similar situation uh, this particular move where we have two separate channels of uh, communication perhaps could prove to be uh, equally uh, you know important or significant as far as Istrike is concerned. Certainly not leaving anything to chance and ensuring that whatever possible channels of communication are there uh, in terms of reaching across to the Vikram lander, all of that is open. That's the latest update coming in from ISRO.